After SNL's pointed Halloween joke, Hoda Kopp reacts. Hoda Kopp responds to the Saturday Night Live spoof that made fun of her earlier this week. This year's appropriate costumes were called out in the Halloween spoof that aired. Carson Daly discusses celebs and their costumes on Monday's episode, which airs one day before Halloween. If you're still in need of a last-minute idea for tomorrow, SNL gave a great suggestion on Saturday's sketch, poking fun at SAG AFTRA-approved costumes, he says as he brings up Saturday Night Live. Sarah Sherman assumes the role of SAG AFTRA President Fran Drescher in the comedy. Next, she decides whether or not to accept this year's trick-or-treater costumes. Sarcastically criticizing children that are dressed like Barbie, Spider-Man, or Black Panther. A bunch of adorable scabs is how they are described. Endorsing basic clothes, Harry Potter as told in the books, and small biblical characters who haven't been in any TV or film adaptations, Hoda Cobb falls into the same category, approving. As many of you are aware, SAG AFTRA is still on strike. What costumes uni members can wear will change as a result of this decision. Sarah continues the farce by saying, Unfortunately, you can't be Yoda this year, but you can be Hoda. Next, a young girl dressed in a business suit and wig appears to represent Hoda Cobb from the Today Show. She is holding a wine glass, which is noteworthy. The wine is real, but the wig is fake, she declares educating people about the approvable categories of reality TV and daytime television. Hoda Kod emerges in the corner of the screen during today's airing of the tape, expressing her opinion to the farce. She laughs back at that. Carson Daly then queries, did you see that? Behind them, Al Roker can be heard cracking up. Hoda nods in acknowledgement and shuts her eyes in response to the inquiry. She acknowledges, yeah, I did. I received a few texts on it. Noting then, yeah, that was influenced by Kathy Lee Gifford. Pointingly, she declined to use wine, giving that privilege to her former co-host Kathy Gifford, who was a habitual on-air wine drinker. It's practical, Carson remarks, turning to face Hoda. It's a funny idea, but it works really well. Every host was in favor of the idea.